Hey guys, this video is especially for people who are just getting started with GIMP and just need to find a way to, well, get started. And um, if you just downloaded GIMP and opened it for the first time, it will look like this. And to the left here is your toolbox. And this toolbox has all the tools in it. And down here are the options of the tools that you have selected. So I have the paintbrush selected now and here you can see all the options of the paintbrush. And when you are more advanced in GIMP you know how to use them. And when I select another tool like this one, you can see that the options change. So that's basically how the toolbox and the tool options work. And then to your middle is the image window. And the image window has all the menus. So when I click here is the file, edit, select, view, image, layers, etc, etc. And that's all your menus and you want you when you want to create a new file go to file new and we're going to create a file with width uh, 640 height 400 and click OK and then it will look like this and here you can work in and then to your right is your layers channels and paths dialog and we're going to work a bit with layers today and uh, I'm going to do an exercise and in this exercise you will sort of learn and get a grip of how to use layers and to the bottom are your brushes, patterns and gradients tabs. And we're going to start with a gradient today. And first of all, I'm going to show you how to change your foreground and your background color here. And click on this uh, square here, that's the foreground color, and choose a nice color that you like. So you can choose the U in here. I'm going to pick something like this and on the color and how dark or light it is in here. And, and this will be the color of the foreground. So click OK. And now that's your foreground color. And now you can change your background color. And by clicking on this square below it. And I'm going to pick a reddish U and with this color. And click OK. And now I've created a foreground and a background color. And with these two colors, I'm going to create a gradient on our image here. And you do it by going to the blend tool. And that's the little square one here. And click on it. And then just stroke while holding down the mouse button like this. And then you get a nice gradient as background. And on top of this, I want some text. So I'm going to go to my text tool. And that's the big A in here. And then click on it. And then I'm going to type in my text by clicking on my image and type the text and you can move the text around while you're still uh, working in your text tool here by just clicking on it and moving it around like this so I'm moving it to the middle here something like this and I like this but I don't like the color of it it's very unclear to the left here so I'm gonna change the, this color to black and for this I'm gonna go to my tool options while I'm in my text tool and next to color is this bar and you click on this and here you can change the color and I want this back to black so I'll move this all the way to the left. And then here you see the black color and then I'm going to click OK and my text uh, color has changed. And now when you look at your layer dialog you can see that there are two layers now. There's a text layer with the text name Kim Tricks. And the text layer is, you can see it's a text layer by the big T in this. And there's the background layer. And I want to make a uh, border around this text to make it look better. And for this I need to create a new layer. And creating a new layer is done by clicking on this icon here. And then you hover over it, it says create a new layer. And when you click on it, it does create a new layer. This will pop up here. And I'm going to call this text border. Just type it in. And then click OK. And of course we don't have a border yet because we still need to create this. But uh, we do have an extra layer in our layer dialog. And I want to move this layer down below the text layer. And you can do this by just clicking on it and dragging it down. Or by clicking the arrow keys here. And I'm going to click these lower this layer arrow key once. And now my text border layer is below my text layer. And I'm going to make the text layer active again by clicking on it once. And then I'm going to make a selection around the text. And I'm going to do that by right clicking on the text layer. And clicking alpha to selection. And what you can see now in your image are... Yeah, it's called the marching ends and that's the selection. And I want to make my border a bit bigger than the actual text. So I'm going to go to select. And 
and grow. And I'm going to grow this by two pixels. So type in two and click OK. And now you can see that the selection is a bit bigger than the actual text. And we're going to make the border on the text border layer. So click on text border, the text border layer in your layer dialog. Make sure that's active. And now go to your bucket fill tool and make your foreground color white because we're going to make the text layer white. And white is all the way to the right bottom. And click OK. And we're still in our bucket fill tool. And now all you need to do is click on your image inside the selection like this. And you can see in your layer dialog that the text border layer now is filled with white. And you can only see the border because the text is on top of it. It's, it's the layer on top of it and that covers the layer below it. So now we can go to select none and we can see our result. And I want to add a nice drop shadow to my text with border. And for this I make sure that I on my text border layer because I'm going to create a drop shadow from that layer. And then go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. And then this will pop up and make sure that everything is still on default, but don't allow uh, resizing, untick it. Make sure it's not ticked. And then click OK. And there's your nice drop shadow and this gives it a bit of depth. And uh, when you look at your layer dialog, you see that there is a layer created, a drop shadow layer, and that's below the text border layer. So now we have four layers and we are going to create uh, yet another layer on top of the four la layers that already are in the layer dialog. And you do this by clicking on your top layer and then click on the create a new layer button down here. And we're going to call this layer border because we are going to make a border around the complete image and type in border and then click OK. And now on your border layer, make sure it's active. We're going to fill this completely with black. So go to your foreground color, click on it and move the slider all the way to the left and then click OK. And now your foreground color is black. And now go to your bucket fill tool and just click in your image. And now everything is black because the top layer is black and it covers all the layers below it. But we're going to fix this. We, we're going to make this just a border. And you do this by going to select all. And you have to make sure that you're still in your border layer. Because we're working on our border layer. And then go to select shrink. And we're going to shrink it by 20 pixels. So our border is 20 pixels. And click OK. And what you see now is a selection, the marching ends again, that is inside the um, complete black image. And it covers most of it in the middle. And we're going to delete everything inside this selection. And that's easily done. All you need to do is press delete on your keyboard. So I'm now going to press delete on my keyboard. And as you can see, everything inside is visible again, except for the border that we didn't select. So now I'm going to go to select none and my image is done. And when we go back to our layer dialog, we can see that there are five layers in here now. And the top one is the border layer and then we have our text layer and then we have our text border layer of which only the edges are visible because the text layer is covering up the rest. And below the text border layer is the drop shadow layer and you can only see the shadow where the text and the text border layer are covering um, aren't covering, covering it up. And on the bottom is our background layer with our gradient. And this is how layers work. And for to save it, you go to File, Save As. And first thing you want to do is save it as an XCF file. And this means that all the layers will still be intact in case you want to edit it later. And if you can't remember XCF, then go to select file type, click on the plus here. And the second one is KIMP XCF uh, image. And then you can select this one and then click save. And then to use it, go to file, save as. And this time save it as PNG. Just type in PNG. Or again, go to select file type and search for... I'm not sure where it is, PNG image, and then click save. And sorry about that. 
And then this will be asked merge layers because um, you've got all these layers and that's fine because you've just saved it as XCF file. So you can now merge this down without uh, problems. And that means that there won't be any layers anymore, but you have just saved the layers file before. So that's just fine. So click export. And then it, this comes up and you, all you need to do is click save and then it will be saved. So that's how you use layers and create image, images in GIMP. And I hope this was a little bit helpful. This is a uh, exercise for beginners. So if you don't like the result, then well, it wasn't meant to look very spectacular, just meant to explain how things work in GIMP. And I hope that uh, it did explain how things work in GIMP. And if it did, then uh, I hope uh, you can make cool things in GIMP from now on. And if you like my videos, then maybe you'd like to subscribe. And thank you for watching.